This photo from Paris in 1878 shows the head of the Statue of Liberty on display. This gift from France to the U.S. was completely built and showcased in Paris before she set sail to her permanent home in New York City. To this day, it remains one of the most recognized symbols of freedom worldwide. Did you know that Gustav Eiffel, the man who built the Eiffel Tower, actually helped to build the Statue of Liberty? This image, taken in 1950 in North Carolina, shows two water fountains, one marked white and one marked colored. This meant that white people should drink from the tap on the left, and people of color were only allowed to drink from the one on the right. This was not the only example of this, and multiple segregated water fountains were found in this area. More than just a place to drink, they became symbols of the deep-rooted segregation in parts of the U.S. This chilling photo from April 14, 1945 shows a liberated Russian survivor, identifying a former camp guard known for brutally beating prisoners in the Buchenwald concentration camp in Germany. When the camp was liberated by U.S. troops in April 1945, they discovered over 21,000 survivors, but many were in poor health due to the harsh conditions and treatment. This is Omera Sanchez, a 13-year-old victim of the Nevado del Ruiz volcano eruption in Colombia in 1985. Trapped in water and concrete, they were unable to rescue the little girl. She stayed alive and alert for three days before she passed away. This volcano eruption is an unforgettable tragedy in Colombia. Despite not being a massive eruption, it melted a glacier, causing 30-meter-high mudflows, obliterating villages and killing over 23,000 people, making it the second deadliest volcanic disaster of the 20th century. This photo from 1981 shows boxing legend Muhammad Ali talking to a man named Joe, threatening to jump from the ninth floor of a building in LA. Ali's best friend, Howard Bingham, was at the scene and called him. Ali rushed to the scene, driving in his Rolls Royce on the wrong side of the street. He ran into the building, and not long after, a LA Times photographer captured this image of the boxer peering around a pillar to talk to Joe. You're my brother. I love you, and I couldn't lie to you. Muhammad Ali reportedly shouted to the man. In some of the other photos from the same incident, Ali put his arm around Joe before guiding him inside and walking to his car, driving off together. In 1972, workers of the Joint Francais Company in Saint-Brook, France, went on strike. As the French riot police intervened, a powerful moment was captured by photographer Jacques Gourmelin. This iconic photo shows a face-off between Guy Bermier, a worker, and Jean-Yvonne Antignac, a riot policeman. As it turned out, the two recognized each other as being childhood friends. The photographer describes the situation. I saw him go toward his friend and grab him by the collar. He wept with rage and told him, go ahead and hit me while you're at it. The other one didn't move a muscle. This fascinating photo from 1931 features Swiss engineer M. Goethe about to embark on a journey from France to Spain in his unique creation, the motor wheel. The motorcycle-like vehicle consisted of a single wheel with a rail running inside a solid rubber tire. Here you see a demonstration of a child driving a similar vehicle from 1927 and this one shown in Paris in 1933. Another invention that never caught on is this one. And as you see, sometimes, innovation takes a strange turn. You may have guessed it, but this is a cigarette holder from 1955. It was capable of holding 20 cigarettes at once. This photo shows model Francis Richards, demonstrating just how efficient this smoking device was. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section. Imagine finding a whiskey dispenser at your workplace. This photo from the second automatic vending exhibition in London, 1960, shows a machine that became mildly popular in the 1950s and 60s. While it never became widespread, it's a captivating peek into the past's vision for office life. This photo shows possibly the most hectic day in Swedish history. This was captured the first morning after Sweden switched from left-hand driving to right-hand on September 3, 1967. The costly and tedious preparation involved reversing every street sign, stoplight, and repainting roads. This iconic photo by Alfred Eisenstadt, often referred to as VJ Day in Times Square, 
captures a moment of relief and joy as an American sailor kisses a woman on August 14, 1945 the day Japan surrendered, marking the end of World War II. The identities of the two were unknown for years, but is believed to George Mendonca, a Navy quartermaster on leave from the Pacific and Greta Zimmer Friedman, a dental assistant from Queens. It wasn't until the 1960s, while Greta was looking through photos from the war when she saw the photo for the first time and exclaimed, That's me! This photo from May 1960 shows Michael Rockefeller, son of future U.S. Vice President Nelson Rockefeller, smiling during his first trip to Papua New Guinea. Unfortunately, this journey would later lead to his mysterious disappearance. It's believed he was eaten by the Asma people, a group known for their cannibalistic rituals. This initially ordinary high school photo carries a chilling context. On the far left, teenagers Eric Harris, Dylan Klebold, and their friends are seen pointing pretend guns at the camera. Disturbingly, only a few weeks after this image was taken, Harris and Klebold would carry out the infamous Columbine High School shooting, an attack that took the lives of 12 students and one teacher. In 1959, the Soviet scientist Vladimir Demikhov took a radical step in experimental surgery, creating a two-headed dog. After 23 failed attempts, Demikhov achieved his goal. He attached one head onto another dog's body. Post-surgery, both heads were observed to have retained their sensory functions. They could hear, see, smell, and swallow. However, due to the crude methods employed, the creature survived only for four days. In the early years of World War I, long before the recognition of war neurosis or post-traumatic stress disorder, veterans were left to endure the mental health struggles on their own. This haunting image of a shell-shocked soldier, captured during the Battle of fleurs corselet in September 1916, vividly portrays the horrors of war and the profound impact it had on individuals. As the war persisted, countless others would face a similar fate. Please consider subscribing to our channel and I'll see you in the next part.